question I answered on Twitter recently and something that I've just been taking for granted is inline R code. So R code doesn't have to be specifically placed inside of a code chunk inside of an R markdown document or just an R script. If you wanted to have inline R code for uh, an analysis and say you have this very beautiful formatted analysis and you want to have certain pieces of your text inside of your description be dynamic and update with certain new new values in your data set or whatever, um, certain options, certain times you might actually want that in reproducible analysis, you probably don't want that. Um, but if you wanted something to be dynamic and flexible and update, or just to be a piece of that, um, that code value into your text in line, you have that functionality available to you. So one of the most frequent uses I would do with this is that it is also possible to utilize this in your YAML header. For instance, the date. So the date right here, we can see that we have all this other stuff going on, but it's basically format the system date. Cool. That gives you year, month, day, and the serial date. And it's doing this in an inline R code chunk with backtick R space and then the code and then closing backtick. But because it's YAML, you also need to encapsulate it with quotes, single or double. I don't think it matters. Um, but then you just write all that and it will give you the date. So if I knit that up at the top, it'll tell you the system date, which is 2020-03-22 and that is dynamic. So that will change. Anytime you run this report, it'll change. And I use this incessantly because anytime I run a report and send it out, I want to make sure I know when the report was last ran. Um, so you can do that. And even I think you can do report last ran and then have text inside the quotes, but then have your inline R code next to it. Knit that. And it will also do that as well. So, and because you're formatting the system date and it's R code, inline but R code, that means pretty much if you can write it in R, you can do it in here. So if you want to have a very custom timestamp or something of your date or whatever, you can do that. One other thing I really like to do is do inline um, summary statistics. So if I'm going to do something and I want to know the, the mean age of a population and I want to have it if, as the population changes, so for instance, I recently did... Um, an analysis on the chronic kidney disease population for the state prisons. And one of the things we wanted to do is have a dynamic, um, the subset of the population with that condition, what is their mean age, um, just to see what it was. And because certain things in our uh, initial SQL query changed, we actually had to have um, the population subset changed. So therefore the mean age changed, and we didn't want to have these values hard-coded based on the results of, a la of our last subset of the data set. So what we did is we made the inline R code run the mean on that certain column of the table or data or data frame. So one thing we can do with that is backtick R mean, and then I'm just going to use the cars data set and just do cars speed and then close it off with a backtick. So what this is doing is it is giving me the mean of speed from the cars data set inside um, just in the text. So I can just say, you know, the mean of mean speed of the cars of the cars data set is this. I can knit that. And it will tell you 15.4 is the mean. So in this way, you can also include um, very small snips of R code into your, your text analysis. One thing I've also done is I've done this with um, markdown tables where you just do bunches of um, you know the pipe characters and you make your own custom tables for very small pieces of just custom sets and you don't want to even bother with a data frame. You can do that with uh, a markdown table and then use inline R code inside some of these pieces of the table and have just stuff collected there without having to make it a variable, it, it just depends. Like, as I said, it's, it's so flexible. It's really just what do you want to do with it? What is the me least amount of effort for you? And what's your workflow? Because it supports so many different workflows and ways you'd be wanting to do things. So inline R code, very useful. I use it all the time, and especially for the system date for like my timestamps of when the report was last ran. So have fun with that.